Hi, Thrifty Kiwi here. Today I'm possing up some seedlings. These ones are cabbage seedlings. I just wanted to show you uh, what I do. These should have been potted up a week or two ago, but I've been away. So um, this is a punnet of cauliflower, but these cabbage look much the same. Quite a few of them in the punnet. So what I've done is I've lifted out a section oh, whoops, from the punnet with its several cabbages in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify which of these I believe to be the strongest seedling. And the rest I'm just going to snip them off with a pair of scissors at the base. So I'm not pulling out roots and disturbing the roots of the one I choose to keep. Um, and then just put the whole thing into the pot and add the extra um, soil. So when I'm planting lots of seedlings too, potting up lots of seedlings, rather than write a label for every individual pot, I use the one label from the punnet of the variety of whatever it is, in this case it's um, cabbage golden acres, and I use the same uh, shape and colour pot for all of the seedlings of that variety, so that when I put them all together over on my um, trays of my other seedlings, we'll just wander over here, so in this um, basket, this is all cabbages of different varieties, which I'll water in a minute, that have just been potted up, um, but they're in uh, three, there's three different sizes or colours or shapes of um, pots in here so far and I'll be adding these ones to it. So this will be all cabbages, four different varieties, but I can tell them apart because the um, red minis are in the blue um, pots, the uh, golden acres will be in the black pots that look the same as this. This is purple cabbage and it's in this particular size and shape pot and then I've got a few derby day which are in this other um, shaped pot. So I can tell them apart when I go to plant them and I don't have to use labels for every single individual pot. Now these ones are sitting in a basket covered in mesh because we still have white butterfly um, just to keep them away until these are ready to go out in the garden where they'll be planted under uh, micro mesh from the biological husbandry unit which makes it do absolutely fabulously. Hope that's helpful. Thrifty Kiwi here, just another little observation as I'm potting up my um, brassica seedlings. So I've got two punnets of uh, broccoli marathon, both an F, so it's an F1 hybrid, from two different seed companies planted on the same day at the same time in the same way and kept next to each other in um, the seed raising, um, on the seed raising table that I have, or um, shelves that I have. So um, this one is broccoli marathon from Egmont and it's quite strong and vigorous. This is broccoli marathon from McGregor's. It's also, you know, reasonably strong, but I wouldn't say as vigorous. If I turn them sideways, maybe you can see better. I think there's a reasonably distinct difference between the two um, punnets. If I get them to stand up. Mm. So, possible explanations for that could be that one batch of seeds is older. Well, this one from Egmont is expiry in 2025, um, sorry, from McGregor, Egmont, viable until 2023. So one would think that this would be the older packet, um, although because I folded the corner down that tells me I've actually finished the packet. So I've had this one open for a while and I've been using it up. This one I think I only just opened, um, no no I may have been using it, um, there's still some, you know, quite a few seeds in there. So that doesn't explain it. Um, different seed companies, better quality seed? Well, not necessarily because uh, McGregor's seed is often, I don't know if everything from McGregor's is, but quite a lot of their seed is actually done by Egmont Seed Company, um, packaged for them. So who knows what the difference is, but there is distinctly a difference. So... Um, I just thought that was interesting. And on the subject of potting up tip, tips, so something I do when I'm getting ready to start sowing seeds is I go through my collection, um, which is stored in bigger containers inside, and I pull out all the ones that I am thinking of sowing at this whatever given time of year it is, and I put them together in a basket. Now, I tend to divide them up um, between the sideways packet in here to be a divider but the ones at the front are ones I've sown in, in trays or punnets ones at the back are going to get direct sown um, so anyway I keep those seeds 
in that basket, even after I've sown, I see, keep the seed packets in the basket, even after I've sown them, until I see the results. So from the all of these ones at the front that I um, sowed uh, probably a month to six weeks ago, probably six weeks ago, um, I now can see that these particular ones didn't come up. Now, they were mostly old seeds, so I'm actually not that surprised. Um, but it's worth trying your old seed, just sow it more generously. Um, so these ones didn't come up at all, so I will now know to go through the labels on these, pull those seeds packets out of that basket and discard them because they're no longer viable. Um, the reason I don't go and put them all away with the rest of my seed stock is I might have um, newer packets of seeds and I don't want them to get muddled up. I need to know which ones it was that I sowed this time around. And sometimes I will get seed that does come up, but it's not very vigorous. So this is Col Rabbi, green and purple, that again it was older seed, it's not particularly vigorous and that's just telling me, well I can use a few of these but I'm going to replace that seed as well when I do a seed order.